Hello and welcome back guys. Okay, so currently we can see that our test is active and we don't want it active so students can see it yet. So we need a button here to be able to switch between the two. So this active will remain whether the uh, test is editable or not because we can either hide it or show it. So for now, let's see how we can uh, edit that. Now, if it's not editable like this test is right now, we shouldn't be able to show the delete and edit. So let's finish up with that. So exactly what we did here on the edit question, what I want to do is let's merge the results as well down here instead of doing this in the delete. So down here, oh, actually here we don't, um, we don't show errors at all. But what we can do is, um, let me come back here for a second. I want to copy this, this if not editable. So I'll copy this and on the delete, I don't want to add the thing inside once we post. I want to add it right at the top here. That's because I want the error to show immediately. Um, deleting for this or we can say this test can not be deleted. Cannot be deleted. Something like this. So, and then also if um, I can use the error thingy here, same thing. So say and count is equal to zero. So because we know the error here has something so if we do this then it won't pass through here at all so let me refresh these are questions actually so let's say this test question maybe we should have done the same thing for here as well editing for this test question is disabled okay so refresh and now let's click delete and immediately we see this test question cannot be deleted and if they try to delete nothing still happens but let's disable the buttons as well so what we will do is use this if statement right here so i'm just going to copy that and let's go to single test uh where is this single test view so i'll go down here and that'll be single test view and this is where we are viewing the question so test tab view wait a minute where is this uh, why are there tabs in here single test view is this single test yes okay so test tab view let's um test tab view right there okay so let's see where the edit and delete they are right there so only here we need to add a new statement so i'm just going to put some php tags oops what did i just do let's do this php paste and then uh, full column like that. Okay, so if row, now this is question, it's not row. So let's put that here. Oh, wait, actually, no, it's not the question itself. It's the row, which is the actual test, not the questions. That's what we are looking for. That's what, that's the one that holds the information of whether we are able to edit or not. So let me paste that there. Okay. Now it should be the opposite. So if it's editable, then we show. If not, we don't. So as you can see now, those have disappeared. Now it was important to make sure that we can't actually edit uh, those while the links were still showing. That way 
if anyone finds a link to the delete they still won't be able to delete even though the buttons have disappeared here uh, somebody can easily skip to the actual links so that's why we had to make sure that those are secure as well so for now at least we know this is working now we want to change the active yes to no when the teacher is still editing so because we changed the default value to active no it means the moment you create a test it's not active so but for now we need a um, we need let's go back to single test um, view what we need for now is a button so let's see here this is the active part yes no and then it echoes right here so i want to use the same data table data here and do this so active yes but while we are still at it here we can add one more thing which is a button so uh so for now this is uh let's assume it's active i'm just going to change uh deactivate deactivate like this or you can say something like hide test i don't know that's up to you or unpublish okay so here instead of active we can say published maybe that makes more sense yes or no so unpublish let's add a class here button button primary like that that should work okay so published yes unpublish but let me add a break tag here so that they're on separate lines i think that will look much better okay so unpublish or publish now what i want to do on the link is to get the very link we are on right now but just put a a get variable here that says unpublish and set that to true okay so very easy peasy here i'm just going to put an a tag and then in there obviously i know i need to use root first slash and then this is a single test slash let's see here yeah that single test and then the what is this one here the test uh, where is this test id okay so let's echo that row test underscore id close that let's move that a tag here and then we are back in business so refresh if i hold on this uh oopsie R root is not working that's because i forgot the equal sign okay refresh okay finally we have something only that i need to add something at the end the same way i did this here so instead of a tab though we're just going to put a question mark and say maybe we can call it action or something action is equal to or we can just say uh, disable and say true it really doesn't matter as long as you know that's what you're referencing so we can check for disable is equal to true and then run some code once that happens so we'll go back to the controller for single test and this should happen on the main view so we're going to go to the index function and right about we can really do this anywhere so i just want to make sure that the row is red that's okay and then i'll come here uh, disable test if uh, 
Yeah, let me just leave it right there. So I'm looking for the get variable for disable. So I'm just going to say if is set get and this one is disable. So once it's set, we know that we have to run a, let's run a query. So there's a query that we did run in tech test and it's very similar. So I'm just going to copy all of this, uh, copy, copy this and paste it there. And let's see, tests is there as a model, so no problem. Now we say update tests, set um, disabled is equal to one. Uh -huh. mm. So what we can do here is negate this. Whether when disabled is on, we switch it off. When it's off, we switch it on. So anyway, what I can do is check since we already have a row here. So I will do this and say if row disabled, wait, is that correct? Let's go back to our columns and make sure that's the column name. Yes, disabled. So if we want it disabled, if it's disabled, we want to switch off that disability. So if disabled, then we're going to say disable is equal to, we'll put a zero or a one. So if it's already disabled, this means it's a one, we'll put a zero. And then we'll do the opposite on the other side. So else do this and put a one. And then we'll get this very same disable, which is either one or zero. And we'll set that right here. So I'll put that in here like this. Okay, so everything seems to be a uh, goodie. Let's try this now. So back here, refresh, and this is publish. And if I click on it, uh -huh, finally, we get a no. If I click on it, we get a yes. I click on it, a no, yes. Okay, so that is awesome. Only that the text doesn't change here, publish or unpublish. Let's fix that real quickly. So I'm just going to copy this because that's the if statement we really use. So back to, um, where is this? Test tab view ink. No, nope. it's on single test view right here. So published, yes. And then what we want to change is uh, this text right there. So better to use an if statement again. So I'm just going to be here, put some PHP tags and let's do the same thing we did uh, on the other side. So I'll put that if statement there. Mm -hmm. So row disabled. If this is disabled, then the, uh, the text that we want, uh, btn text, oops, btn text is equal to, why do I keep putting the four there? All right, so let's put unpublish and then copy the whole thing. Let's put something right there. Okay, so we set it to one thing and then if it's different, we set it to another. So here, if this is disabled, uh, we want to tell the person to publish. Okay, and then now uh, we can put the text over here echo it out so all right then so refresh so it's published no we say publish and then now it's published we want to unpublish okay and then um You could change the colors as well of this thing by just saying uh, 
making another variable called btn color and then the first color is btn primary like this and then we can change that to danger btn danger okay so copy this and replace that with it like so okay cool so that should work that should help so when you want it to publish you click on that and then unpublish like that okay pretty good so the red will tell you that you do need to publish your test and then the blue at least you know it's published all right so let's in the next video let's see how to implement this so that we the students cannot see this test once it's unpublished like this i'll see you then